Hey everybody, it's me, Akasha. Um, if you guys can tell, I dyed my hair. It was an accident. A complete accident. I like it though. Uh, I didn't take the box seriously when it just said dark hair collection. So when it's the color on the box, it's the color that your hair is going to be. Um, so anyways, I wanted to probably talk a little bit about astral projection today. Um, because you, a lot of you guys requested a guided meditation video, and I haven't decided yet on how I'm going to do it, and I've been very cluttered this week, and maybe the week before, I have, you know, things going on with school, and I also wanted to fix up my room because of how cluttered I had things, and, um, and, like, I'm really organizing my room, like, really deeply, and she's like, like, I've been trying to get, like, organized and everything. So, I, that's why I haven't, like, really done any videos lately because of all of that. But, um, once it's, like, all organized and stuff, I'll, you know, be on a roll again. But I think I'm still going to be doing videos, you know, day after day and stuff. But the point is, is that I want to be able to do stuff that you guys want to do right now that you feel like that you really need to know. I've been getting a lot about, I've been getting a lot about astral, proje uh, astral projection and guided meditation. Today I'm going to give you some information on it. I'm sorry about the dogs in the background being turds. They see someone and they're wanting to bark and everything. But anyways, like, you guys, I put that video up so you guys could request some stuff. You know, this is your chance to request stuff or else I'm just going to take hold again and I'm just going to, you know, put whatever... I feel is, you know, right at the moment, you know, right now I'm giving you guys a chance to pick what you want to learn or what you feel that you need, but none of you have been, uh, basically, um, contributing, um, but anyways, also I gave you a chance to ask me any kind of question you want, even like personal questions, because I do get that a lot, and, uh, I think right now I'm just going to answer those three questions that I got. I got like three. Three main ones. Okay, no, I probably got a couple more than that. But they're, they weren't really like put out there, really voted for too much. You know, they weren't big questions. Um, one of them was from a friend of mine who I talk to a lot. You guys asked me, okay, I can ask any question. What is the meaning of life? Now, this depends on your whole definition on the meaning of life. You know, like, like, why do we live? Why are we here? What is the meaning of life? To me, I take it, my definition, it is for us, depending on, like, whether you guys believe in God or who you believe in, I take it as an experience. It's, um, how was I going to say this? I had it, like, all out there. We come here to learn and to experience like almost everything like any kind of feelings like love happiness sadness and all those different kinds of feelings you know I feel that the meaning of life is to experience and it is to learn you know and this that's just what I feel experience and learn to love you know be loved to forget but yeah like I think everyone has their own definition of the meaning of life and stuff like that and not only that, I feel that each of us have our own thing that we're supposed to bring onto this world. Basically, like, so one little thing that we do can cause a, a chain reaction to somebody else. Um, that's just how I feel about it. Um, I don't know. Grandma, you want to say anything? I'm here to learn. We do you gotta talk louder. Okay. We come here to learn. We decide what we want to learn, who we want to learn it with, and the people we're going to be involved with at that time before we come here. That's how I see it. Okay? Yes, we do learn. We have to experience. Uh, say you did something in a past life. I'm talking karma now. To me, it's karma. You did something in a past life that you need to learn the proper way. You're going to come back and you're going to learn it with the person you chose to learn it with at that time, before you were born. All these decisions are made before you were born. You come here, sooner or later you meet with that person, and the story unfolds. If it's something that you did to that person in a past life, 
that you did that person the wrong, you're going to pay for it in this life. See, that's my grandmother, who I've told you guys so much about. And um, that was basically her definition on the meaning of life. Uh, everyone has their own definition. If you guys want, you can send me a response video on your definition on the meaning of life. Um, another question that I was asked. Oh, I was asked if I have a boyfriend. I'm not good about that. I haven't been in a relationship. Because I'm not good at trusting people. I haven't been in a relationship. I'm not good at trusting people. Uh, like, I can trust someone, but people can easily ruin that trust. You know, that's just how people are, and it's hard to gain trust again for certain people. And uh, I've have, I've, I have, like, you know, people that I've liked and everything like that. I kind of am almost maybe possibly getting in a relationship. I don't know, but the whole point with the relationship thing is that I would only really get into a relationship unless I feel it's right. And I think that's why I haven't had one for that reason. I'm probably like, oh, you haven't had a relationship? You're giving us advice? Well, that's just experiences that I've seen and, you know, these, like, sort of whatever friend things, you know, you want to call them, I guess, almost, like, relationship thing I've learned from. And just from you what learn, I see. You learn from observation. Yeah, I learn from observation, like I know what I said. Um, but so far, the way that I've been going has been working well for me, and uh, it might lead to something better instead of hopping to person to person, you know, I like, I'm not that type of person to go like hopping around everybody and people say I'm picky, but the thing is, is that I know what I want, you know, it's not like I'm going to be like, okay, this is my definition and that's it, you know, it's like, not that I have this whole written out thing on somebody, but just, you know, I'll know when the time is right, it's just how I feel about it, which, which I feel that, you know, is how how for everyone it is that way it's just you don't really know it sometimes and sometimes you're blinded or manipulated by certain people so you don't necessarily know how things are for sure and that's something that I also like to watch out for because I've seen too much of it in my life for me to like fall into that myself you know and um, yeah that's basically like I had another question that I completely forgot about and I'm sorry to the person who was asking. I think I've gotten it like twice or something. Okay, a frequent question that is being asked that isn't really a personal question, but it does have to do with magic, is how long does it take for a spell to work? Okay, I haven't, I don't think I've told you guys this in one of my videos, but it's supposed to happen within six months. That is the timeline for it. Some of you guys are like, I want it to happen faster than that. But you know what? That's just not how it works, you guys. Um, a lot of times with fire magic, it seems like things happen a lot faster because, you know, the element fire makes things happen faster. Uh, just like the way it can burn through nature and trees and everything, you know? And I'm a real fan of fire. Um, I, I'm really drawn to fire magic in particular. Um, we all are. My grandma back there, too. And, um, what else? Yeah, just basically, you guys need to be patient. What, this is the whole thing about it, is that your, your wish or spell that you do will happen faster as soon as you forget it. As soon as you do the spell, forget it, leave it behind, let it be done, let it go out there and happen. Because if you dwell on it and you think about it, it seems like it takes longer, and then not only that, it's, it's just going to be like, nope, nope, it's not going to happen, that type of thing. So anyway guys, looking at battery, doing okay, so check out my next video on astral projection information before I can get into a detailed thing for you. Goodbye and bless you.